Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Engineering Hooksets. Welcome to another video. Today we're fishing a tournament here at good old Lake Evergreen, Illinois, Bloomington Oil Bass Club. Don't have a partner today. He's on vacation, but that's okay. We're still gonna try to get it done. Stick around guys, it's gonna be a good time. All right, we're at the first spot. This is, uh, this is pretty heavy wind right now, guys, but I'm fishing it on purpose. I'm fishing the windy spot on purpose once again. I think hopefully the wind is a good thing for me today. If not, I've got some good protected coves that I can go flip trees in. We'll see you guys. Wow, that's some strong wind. Hopefully that makes it a good bite and not just miserable to fish in, but it has potential to do either. Did I just get hit? I might have just got hit. I might, I may have just got hit. Water's pretty clear right here. Looks like three feet of visibility, easy. Guys, we're gonna leave the life jacket on at this spot. This is gonna be real annoying to fish, y'all. Trying to fish right on the edge of the weed line, guys. Is that a fish? I got one. I got one, that's a keeper. That'll keep, that'll keep, that'll keep, that'll keep. Big fish, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, guys, let's go. That definitely keeps. I'll measure him just to check. Come on. B15, B15. It is 15. That's a keeper. Let's go, baby. Sad as it sounds, that's my first one of the year. I gotta hurry. My boat's gonna bang up against the rocks while I'm filling this up. I just repaired a hole in my boat the other day, and now I'm banging it up against Rip Rap with like 15 mile an hour wind. Okay, that's good enough. Both are on. Let's go. Let's go. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Sounds sad, but that's my first tournament keeper of the year. I think I'm fi I've fished. Uh, this is my fifth tournament. And it's my first keeper of the year. And it, yeah, and go figure. It's the one where I don't have a partner. All right guys, now we're going back to kind of the same thing we were just doing, except different part of the lake. We have a riprap bank here with a weed line that I have yet to see, but it'll probably be, yeah, there it is. Okay, so we're on the weed line right now in five feet. So that means we want to have the boat in five feet and then cast with the contour line of the lake. Try and just fish right on the edge of it. Hopefully it works. Got one, got one, got one, got one, got one. Little fish. It's okay, we appreciate all fish here. Unfortunately, he won't keep. Nice to catch one though. Got one, got one, got one, got one. Oh, oof, he took a rough landing. Come here, dude, chill, chill. No, oh, he's in the net. Oh, he's got a really messed up lip. He's been caught before. Okay, bass number three. See ya, dude. A big dead fish over here, I wonder what that is. That's a bass, guys, should I weigh that in? That's like a three and a half, four pounder. Should I pick that up and weigh that in? <laughs> is that worth a one half pound dead fish penalty? Oh, we're just joking, guys, calm down. Calm down, everybody who thinks I'm serious. That wouldn't even work. They would, they would easily see that that thing's like half decayed. Oh my gosh, I just realized, holy cow, it got calm out. All right, I don't know if the chatterbait's gonna move, be the move anymore. 
All right, let's pull out the old trusty jig. Peanut butter and jelly with a blue trailer. Gotta slow down, that spot looks really good. Sounds like somebody way over there caught a fish. Yeah, looks like some kids on the dock over there. Their dad and them are yelling. All right, we're gonna be trying a wacky rig now. This should tell us if it's a tough bite because I just flipped every lay down in this little cove here with a jig. So if I catch a fish on this, that will mean it's time to go finesse. That's a bite. That's a bite. One's got it, one's got it. Yep. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. That was, I don't know. If I did say just off the top of my head, I'd say that was probably a 13 and a half incher. So it probably is a finesse type of bite today. Just because I, I already fished, I've probably flipped that same tree four or five times with the, with the jig. Tried to bounce that one in there quietly. Line's tight. I think I just messed up. I think a fish might have just had that for a second. One, I think one has it. I think one has it. Oh, maybe not. Also, if y'all are wondering why there's no floor in my boat, if you see that patch right there, I'm testing that to see if it works and it definitely works. I'm gonna go put the floor back in tonight. That's a bite. That's a bite. What the? It's got to be like bluegill just nipping at the tail. Got one for sure. Million percent. Line's going left. Okay. I'm getting trolled right now by sunfish. Yeah, look. There's a few little bite. Look at that. I think I'm getting trolled by sunfish, guys. But it's so frustrating because I know the first one was a bass because I, I literally saw it. So like, you know, any of them could be bass. See, there's another bite. He's on right now, my line's moving. Got that one. I Did I call that or did I call that, guys? That's a freaking war mouth. Look at that. Did I call that or did I call that? For sunfish, these things are actually pretty cool. They look, they have like this camo look on them and they have really big mouth. I guess that's why they call them a war mouth. Look at that. Really cool looking fish. All right. Thanks for biting, I guess. Got one, got a bite, got a bite. I'm gonna set it. Oh, that's frustrating. That was a fish, that was a fish. Got one. giant, oh my gosh. That bout ripped the freaking rod out of my hands. That about ripped the rod out of my hands. I think that's why I didn't catch it because the line went tight too quick. I'm getting a lot of bites on this, but it's just not, it has not turned into any keepers yet. There's another bite, small bite. Yeah. Got him. Okay, that's just, that's just a dink. I did call that that was a small, oh no, I think my camera angle was bad on that, but. Little bass. Hopefully you can see the one right before this where a big fish pulled it really quickly. This is a very interesting lay down. I like lay downs into deep water. Big fan of those because it's like deep water cover that you can see, you know? We're going to fish this entire thing. That's a bite. Yep. There's one. Let him take it. Let him take it. Please keep. No, another dink, another dink. 
Why couldn't you be like five pounds? I mean, thanks for biting, I guess, but come on. Look, that lay down, I can see it. It goes all the way to like here. It goes out really far. Is that one? That is one, that, that is one, that is one, that is one. Got him. If my eyes did not deceive me, that was actually a crappie. Regardless of what it was, it was not big enough to keep, so it's okay. Got one. Good fish, good fish, that might keep. I think that's gonna keep. I think that's gonna keep. No, what? How did that thing fight that hard? What? What the heck? That is the hardest fighting 12 inch bass I have ever caught in my life. Cool pattern on him though. See ya dude. Y'all, I swear that thing felt like a two pounder. What number? Uh, seven. Seven. Boat number seven. Who? What number? Seven. Seven. Nukem. Nukem. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right. He's alive. He's alive. Two oh one. Two oh one. I did not think that was two pound. All right, guys. That's my one fish of the day. You can barely even see him on the camera there. 2.01. See you, dude. Thanks for biting. I haven't checked the score yet, but I do not think we won.